Welcome to Nightly Sports with Ryan. I am Ryan McGoldrick and I will be talking to you about the language of baseball and how the two relate. Me, Ancantela, baseball. Ilama Yoyo, baseball. Three up, three down. Give him some chin music. There are many different languages as you can see, and the last two phrases are baseball innuendo. My first topic tonight is going to be baseball talk between players. Players talk in a form of slang towards each other that usually only baseball people understand. Here's a quick film on how they talk to each other. I feel pretty sore today. About to get this dub today. Feeling great today. Hey, cut two, cut two. Cut two, cut two. Cut two here. you're good. Cut it. Yo, right. Free game BP? Going yak ball today. Yo, what are you doing? It's my routine. Yo, let me get these. Let me get these. No, not the Oakleys. Cut two. Turn two, turn two. Flip, flip. No, make sure you don't step on the line. Ah, good, good call, idea. good call. <laughs> hey, oh, watch goodness. your fingers. Yo, has anybody got seeds? For real. Yeah, I got them. Are those ranch, bro? Come on, man. I got the best stuff. Hey, watch the deuce, watch the deuce. Hey, okay. let's go. Boom. Yeah, this kid start with cheese. Yeah, upper 80s. Definitely. He's doing, he's doing. That's still 100%. Got him. Okay. Got him. Oh, got him. Hopefully you got a good picture of how they talk now. They speak their own languages, basically. Baseball relates to language in another way, through signals. Signs are key to the language of baseball. Signs are a way to communicate to others on a team without the other team knowing what you are saying. They can be a series of numbers yelled, a word or a phrase yelled, hand signs, and other ways too. Here is a video on baseball signs. According to Jamie Fisher, in the second half of the 19th century, but it was often not recognized that, at the same time, deaf Americans too were being introduced to the game and playing it, shows that there was a rapid growth in deaf players and baseball needed to find a way to communicate to people. Signals were being used to communicate signs like steal and bunt, but were also used by umpires making their calls of safe or not. The deaf player was able to understand the game of baseball through the sign language. This shows how baseball and language relate to each other. Fisher said the view that what are now baseball's conventional hand signs have their origin in sign language used by deaf that is supported by the etymology of arguably the game's two most basic signs. They tell us that the signals are still in use today. This reveals language stayed around and history shapes the future. My next topic tonight is going to be baseball lingo and why linguistics like the American pastime baseball so much. Baseball language actually influences the English language. The baseball language is always around us and is always being spoken. We the people describe our jobs, our relationships, our government shutdowns, etc. For example, people talk about their relationships by saying they got to second base or they, or they struck out. Other common words are butterfingers, goose egg, flat-footed, with multiple others. Ah, ah. Oh, come on, Butterfingers. You play ball like a girl! Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, how was your date last night? I got all the way home, baby. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was like a home run. More like a grand slam. Baseball lingo is the most common sport language incorporated in the English language. Why is baseball and not, say, uh, hockey? Why is it so vital to the Americans the way they speak. Well, it's because professional baseball has been around the longest. Current linguists have looked into and studied baseball lingo to find out how nicknaming and other words are evolved. Baseball language is still alive and still growing. My final and most important topic tonight is going to be the big picture of why baseball and language relate so much. Alba says, baseball is defined by a system of rules. 
When you learn baseball, you are learning more than just a set of rules. You are learning all the other terms involving baseball like the right situation to do certain plays. Alva claims baseball is taken farther than a system of rules and is actually a practice. If you're around baseball people, all they do is analyze the game. Baseball people are endlessly engaged in evaluating play and in developing theories, and even mathematical and statistical theories. The main idea people are always wondering are, how is a player going to help the team? Ava says that learning a language is more than just learning the rules. Learning a language like baseball acquires a range of practical and also perceptual skills, and it is to come to have a range of feelings, attitudes, and beliefs about language itself. To learn language is to learn not just to do something. It is to become all at once, a critic, a teacher, and an innovator. Alva really describes the language of baseball well by saying it is more than just learning a little of it. You have to understand the rules and everything about it so you can be able to understand it, have a conversation about it, and be able to teach it. Language is like baseball. Hopefully you got the picture of how baseball and language relate, and how the language of baseball really exists. Thank you for watching tonight, and come back next week to Nightly Sports Orion to see how Pete Rose gambled his way right out of the Hall of Fame. Thank you.